Manchester United 3, Aston Villa 2. And wow, what a comeback. The second time at Old Trafford this season, we've been 2-0 down and won the game 3-2. And that was very much a deserved win. There was two silly, sloppy errors from set pieces that we never should have conceded. Awful goals to concede. But all round, it was a pretty good performance from United other than that 10-minute period where our heads dropped, we gave up and we were just whinging at each other. The response to second half, the intensity levels is... Honestly, I'd say probably the best I've seen from United all season. That second half is the best performance I've seen all season. The energy levels, the performance was absolutely fantastic from United. And you can see that these players still believe in Ten Hag to put in that performance in the second half. I felt that these players had given up when we went 1-0 down, the way their body language dropped. But we went 2-0 up. 2-0 down and we started playing. Why do we have to go 2-0 down to start playing? You know, the Forest game, this game, you have to say that. But shout out to Johnny Evans, who was incredible. Shout out to Bruno Fernandes, who was incredible. Shout out to Marcus Rashford, that had a brilliant game. Gone actually had a brilliant game. And of course, Hoyland getting his goal. So happy for Hoyland. And you know me on the channel, People have been saying Garnacho and Hoyland recently, and I've been saying they're young players, they're good players, they're raw, and I've always been very patient with Garnacho and Hoyland and big fans of them. And I think today shows what they're capable of. 20 years age, Hoyland, 19 years of age, Garnacho. Kobe Maino, 18 years of age, had another good performance. We don't even need to talk about Kobe Maino's performance because he's just solid again. Great young players today. And I actually saw Manchester United playing a style of football. I actually saw Man United playing attacking transition-based football, which is the football that Tenor wants to play. And I have to say, I saw something today from United. And if we can get that consistency, avoid injuries and get big players like Martinez back into the team, Casemiro back into the team, that would be brilliant because what I saw today from United was very positive. And what I saw from today from United, if we can see that more and more this season, one game a week coming up with the Champions League, being out of the Champions League as well, it would be brilliant. And I want to talk about something that I think made the difference today, and that is Bruno Fernandes. And not just Bruno Fernandes, but Bruno Fernandes playing in his natural role. I'm going to say this now. My biggest problem with Ten Hag has been that he was playing Bruno Fernandes deeper to accommodate McTominay as a 10, who was doing absolutely nothing, creating nothing, not even pressing. And he was playing Rashford striker, to accommodate Garnacho on the left wing or whoever he was going to play left wing. That was my biggest problem with Ten Argus, that you're playing Rashford striker and Bruno as a deeper player to accommodate worse players. All of a sudden, Bruno goes into his main role. He's got Maynard and Eriksson behind him, so he's actually got that balance, unlike when Tomane's playing. And then, you know, Rashford's on the left. And I've always been saying about Garnacho playing on the right. I've, I've been saying to you guys we should play Garnacho on the right since the beginning of the season. And a lot of you guys have been saying Garnacho's not a right winger. Stop talking nonsense, mostly on Twitter, not so much YouTube. But... It works. And I've been wanting Tenor to do this all season. When I saw that lineup, I was like, please put Garnacho on the right. This is what I want to see. If you watched that, my watch long, I said, I want to see Garnacho on the right. But I want to see Bruno as a 10. And look at this 30 final third passes, seven crosses, six tackles, four chances created, two dribbles completed. He was involved so heavily in everything positive. The press, uh, he was dangerous in all fa phases of the pitch. He's the only guy that could find those brilliant runs Rashford made. And I felt sorry for Rashford in the first half because if you watched my half time review, I said that Rashford had clearly been man of the match in the first half. He was making all these good runs, but no one was finding him. And Bruno was like, boom, I'm going to find you. And I have to say, what Tenal did to play Tomane as a 10 and drop Bruno for the last seven, eight games is unforgivable from Ten Hag. That was a sackable offence. I said it and people said I was ganging up on McTominay and, 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 and all of this stuff. And, you know, but I said, if Ten Hag continues to drop Bruno deeper to accommodate McTominay as a 10, he will get sacked. He drops McTominay, he plays Bruno as a 10, Man United's best game in possession. Even when we were 2-0 down, we weren't bad. That's the thing. It was just, it, we conceded two awful goals from set pieces because we stood like statues. But in possession, in build-up, in general play, that's the best of Sydney United play all season. I mean, look, we lacked the player IQ, we lacked the quality in the final third, and the, the players couldn't stay on side. And but that's down to the players. That's not down to Ten Hag or the coaching or the system. That is just down to not having the players. And I felt like that for bits of the game. But in possession, in terms of chance creation, we check, we created chances today. This is the, we created many chances, today, many half chances. We've not scored in seven hours, and we scored three goals in forty five minutes because. This team looks so much better, so much more balanced. And it's Bruno playing in his main role. Rashford on the left, Bruno playing central. It worked. After playing Bruno out of position for eight, nine games to accommodate McTominay, who was offering nothing if he didn't score. It was going to get Tenol sacked. And I said, if Tenol continues to do this, I can't back this guy. But he changed it today and it worked. And I hope he continues with that. There's certain games where Casemiro will suit it more than Ericsson when he's back. There's certain games where Mount will suit it more. But Mano, Mount... Bruno, Maino, Casemiro, Bruno, Maino, Eriksson, Bruno, please play Bruno as the 10. We need to see that because Bruno was great and his pressing is such an underrated aspect of his game. His work rate is so good, but he's, he knows how to play the ball in the final third. And Scott McTominay doesn't offer that. 
So Bruno was incredible to me. We're going to talk about Garnacho, his work rate, his movement. I've been talking. We're going to talk about Hoy. We'll talk about Rashford, but Rashford's had a really poor season and he's been frustrating this season. But Rashford had a really good game today. He got the assist. He almost got another assist. Him on the left and Garnacho on the right worked so well. And I've been saying for ages to do this because Garnacho will offer more on the right than Anthony. And I say keep Rashford on the left. Play Garnacho on the right because Garnacho is direct. I've always felt that he could play on the right a lot better than Anthony could and a lot better than Rashford could. But the runs in behind from Rashford was great. The timing was great. We just didn't have the quality to find that other than Bruno Fernandes. We are too rely on Bruno Fernandes. If Bruno Fernandes gets injured, oh my days, we are absolutely screwed. But Bruno has the ability and quality to find it. I thought Rashford was very good with his pass selection, his shot selection today. He wasn't particularly selfish. And his movement was causing Villa a lot of problems. He was creating space for other players. He was doing well on on getting the space and being direct. And, and this was probably Rashford's best performance this season. Despite not getting a goal, I was really, really impressed by this Marcus Rashford performance. And I'm, I really wanted Rashford to have a good performance because I think, you know, if Rashford and Bruno play in their right, in their actual positions and they play well, the team can score. I said any, any moments of goals will come through Rashford and Bruno. And Hoyland obviously getting his goal. This is Hoyland's sixth goal this season from an XG of 6.61, uh, first in the Premier League. So that is a big, big positive um, as well today. I'm so glad Hoyland scored. And I've always said this, forget the 70 million price tag with Hoyland. I said that he's a top profile. I've always seen a good player in Hoyland. And I said it might take time because he's raw. But I've always felt that Hoyland will work at United. And, and I've always felt like that. But I think it's time to talk about Garnacho. I think it's time to talk about Garnacho because he was great today. And I've been, I've been saying to play Garnacho on the right wing for a while. But because, And the reason I want to say that is because he's direct. He's a better player than Polistri. He's a better fit for the style of football we're playing, which is more transition based than Anthony at the moment. And he's a better scorer off the left. He's a better, he's, he's a better, he, Rashford's a better scorer off the left. Rashford is hopeless on the right. We've seen Garnacho can, can play off the left and score. Garnacho's only ever appearance, sorry, off the right. Garnacho's only ever appearance on the right wing was that cameo versus Arsenal where he came off the bench and scored and he was offside. Garnacho is technically, he played about 110 minutes of football on the right wing and scored four goals, just two were ruled out for offside. I've always said Garnacho's a threat on the right hand side and Garnacho and Rashford on the inverse sides. I think worked well because you can see that it was just much more efficient. Decision making can be poor, um, but gone actually putting a quite a few good crosses into the box. Ericsson walked over one. Couldn't quite find Hoyland, but Garnacho's delivery was very good. Rashford can deliver across from the left-hand side. Rashford got assisted today. Rashford's assisted half of Hoyland's goals this season. But you could see that Garnacho, at his stage in his development, is very good um, sort of with those angles from the right-hand side, he's very good at driving at people who can put in across. I thought Garnacho was fantastic today. Not just the goals, but I think Garnacho's work rate this season has been unbelievable. Garnacho has been liking tweets about backing Ten Hag and giving him time. What I like about Garnacho is he's got the attitude. He's got the mentality. Yeah, people obviously say, oh, he's got an ego and this and that. Garnacho works incredibly hard for the team. He's a raw talent. He's like Ronaldo. Garnacho reminds me of Ronaldo when he was young. He's going to have frustrating games. He's going to have games where he frustrates you and he's just getting things wrong. And these kind of games where you're like, boom, this guy's incredible. And today was one of those games we like, boom, this guy's incredible. And that was with Ronaldo when he was 18, 19, 20. It's the inconsistency, it's the rawity. But you can see there's a quality player in Garnacho. You can see how incredibly hard he works for the team. You can see he's direct, he dribbles at people, he takes on guys, he's growing, he can he can finish, he can score, he's going to be a confidence player. But in a team that's not scored in seven hours, to score two goals, technically three, if you could stay on side, it's been a big, big improvement. So really, really happy with that um, Garnacho performance. Really, really happy with that Rashford performance. Really, really happy with the Bruno performance. Hoyland getting his goal. This is the first time in about four months I feel like I could say, oh, I'm happy with the Man United attacks performance. I really was. And I have to say, it was so nice to see so many young players get on. And I think Tenal got it spot on today. He got his lineup right. He got his subs right. We won the game. And even when we were 2-1 down, I was saying, guys, we don't deserve to lose this game. Like, We've played well when people at half time were, were being sat the manager, sat the manager, sat the manager. But if you go to my watch long, even at half time, I was saying, like, hear me out, but we've not been that bad. Like, we've been good in possession. We've conceded two dumb goals. Like, the performance was never that bad other than that 10 minutes of cap capitulation. We just conceded two stupid goals. And I think the main reason the performance was good is because Bruno's at 10, Rashford's at the left wing. We're playing our best players in their best positions, and we had a balanced midfield. And Johnny Evans putting a shift on, I think if we could stay on side and we could defend set pieces a lot better, we wouldn't even have the stress of being 2-0 down. I felt that it was just a game where we played well and crap defending was letting us down. And I hope that Ten Hag sticks with this. I hope that we can stay consistent. There's certain things that Ericsson won't work in, of course. But I thought for the most part this was good. I thought Maynard was good as always, but he is left alone a bit and that could punish us other teams. But I liked what I saw today. Really positive. And I have to say the Hoyland goal was massive because... 
it's not just the goal it's the goal that psychologically can just unlock him because I think you could see he was low on confidence and trying too hard at moments this season I think this win is massive because it will say to us look you can go 2-0 behind and you can win you've done it versus Forest. you've done it again today versus Villa Villa in a title race you were 2-0 down you won 3-2 Hopefully that brings some a belief into the team. But smash a like, smash a subscribe. I can actually make a video happy because Hoyland scored, happy because Garnacho scored. Generally, that second half is the happiest I've been watching United all season. Really, really happy with it. Thank you for watching.